Hi everybody, it's Lisa Twyla's mom and today is, well, it's Friday evening. What's the date? June 8th? Yeah, June 8th. Oh my gosh, it's going to be 4th of July before we know it. But uh, you all know that on Fridays right after work I go to the Dollar Tree. So that's what this is. It's a Dollar Tree shopping share. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? All right. So I found these, and I don't know if you can find these at Walmart. I know you can find some of these products, um, but these are by Snaps, and they are the Broccoli and Cheese Bites. So I picked up two boxes of these to give them a try. Um, and I do know you can find some Snaps products at Walmart. I think they're a dollar a piece. I uh, haven't tried those yet. Uh, I'll have to try to remember to let you guys know. And then I also picked up, now I already took them out of the boxes because of course they're freezer and it's Friday evening and I went to the Dollar Tree this morning. So, I <laughs> um, also picked up more of the loaded potato sticks. I enjoy these. Um, some people didn't really care for them. Some people were on the fence, but I thought they were good. So I picked up two boxes of these. Now I did get the strawberry cheesecake bites um, last week. I tried them. I do not like them. It's almost like someone took a ball of cake dough and put a coating around it. I guess I was expecting like a creamy center. Yeah. <laughs> Twyla, she seems to seem to like them okay. Um, she she ate two or three, and then you know she'd have enough. But you only get like I think eight of the little ball things. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't care for them. I will not repurchase purchase them because, like I said, it was it wasn't what I expected. For some people, it may be great. Um, I did expect a creamy filling, I think, you know, like a cheesecake filling, and that's not what it was. It was like a cake dough. So, let's move on. You guys wanted me to tell you how they were? I didn't care for them, but you may like them, yeah. Uh, I also picked up a Tasty Cake Glazed Lemon Filled Flavored Pie. I picked up two of these, but I've already ate one. It was the, it is the Boston Cream Honey Bun. I really like these. I also picked up two of the Dakota Mocha Iced Lattes. I only picked up two. My Dollar Tree has had these forever, and the shelves are pretty stocked. So, yeah, and they're, they taste okay. But it's not something I'll miss once they're gone. But here they are. Two of them. And how many ounces? Nine ounces. Right there it is. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. But yeah. And like I said, they're good and everything. But I can always go back to my Aldi's ones if I miss having an iced coffee. I uh, got another bag of the Warhead. Hot Heads Extreme Heat Worms. Some people don't like the sweet hot. I do. So I picked those up. And then I saw Kathy on No Guts, No Glory. Hi, Kathy. She showed some Skittles. And I am going to have to find those. Those looked good. <laughs> they are the hot Skittles. I also found um, the Chewy Lemonhead, Lemonhead Tropical one pound bags and they're just the little chewy drops of candy but you get kiwi strawberry berry banana peach mango pink lemonade and cherry watermelon now i would have preferred that they just had cherry or peach they could have left out the mango and the watermelon yeah. i'm not a big mango or watermelon person but I, I'll mix it with another one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so pick that up. And this is a one pound bag. 
So if you guys are chewy Lemonhead fans, you might want to stock up on these. Picked up two of the Reese's Pieces two boxes. Now you can get these for 97 cents at Walmart. Um, I was just there to pick them up. Then I also found the Frigo Cheese Heads Original String Cheese. You get three in a package. I've already ate one. What was it? Oh, I don't know. I already ate one. And it comes in a three pack. Like I said, I already ate one. They're just your standard cheese string. or string cheese, but they're Frigo. And that's a name brand you can get at Walmart. I'm not for sure if Walmart sells the three pack though. But I got these for me to put my lunches. Oops. And I already ate one of these. It's the Pepper Jack Sticks. See? Yeah. And I don't know. I thought that was a pretty good bargain. Um, three for a buck. Last time I bought string cheese, I don't think it was by Frigo. I think it was Sargento. And it was a 12-pack... I think it was three something. So I don't know if this is a good deal or not. I don't buy a whole lot of st string cheese. So yeah, let me know if you guys think that's a good deal. I just saw it, wanted it, thought, well, for a couple of days I can stick these in my lunchbox for a quick snack at work. And it's a lot healthier than this, right? <laughs> I needed a new bath. Um, they call them bath sponges. I don't know how come. I call them bath scrunchies. Scrunchies? I don't know why. But they are, you know, what they are. Needed a new one. I love these clips. These clips. They're the jumbo plastic clothespins. When I wash my throw rugs, I don't necessarily like to dry them in the dryer. Especially the ones with the rubber backing. Because the dryer will just eat away that rubber backing so I will use these to clip them on a clothes hanger and then they can air dry in my garage my garage is right off of my utility room and I've got like these steel beams across the roof and I'll just go and hang that clothes dryer or that clothes hanger there we go I lost the word I lost the word <laughs> I'll just hang that clothes hanger on a beam and the next day they're dry so yeah that's what I use these for they're nice and thick they can hold a towel or I mean a, a rug without you know breaking the clothes pin needed some more of the tin foil um what are these called aluminum foil sheets needed some more of these I I don't I, I don't want to say I prefer these over the Reynolds wrap but in all honesty maybe I do because I will buy these before I will buy Reynolds because Reynolds doesn't have 30 in a box and Reynolds is not as long so yeah maybe I do prefer these over Reynolds yeah I probably do because they're the ones I go to first and they work great they really do and some people think they're really flimsy for what I use it for which is primarily to line a baking sheet so I don't have to scrub it um, it works fine for that I don't use it to wrap up a sandwich or anything but that's I primarily use it for lining baking sheets Okay, more tissue paper. Yep, I gotta get my stockpile build back up. Uh, let's see. Okay, still had tons of this. Tons of this at my Dollar Tree. It's the Dove Intensive Cream. I will continue to pick up two every week until they're gone. And I am waiting for the pink stuff. Uh, the pink Dove because I don't think the pink Dove, you know, the pink cream that they have in these, I've seen some people get these, and I don't think it's as thick as the white. I don't think it is. 
this is really too heavy for me as a body cream I like a I like my uh, lotion to have some consistency but not not like a, a real thick consistency but this is perfect for my feet perfect I love it on my feet picked up two more will continue to do that until it's all gone and I might share some at Christmas time when I you know I'm building gifts and stuff I uh, picked up some more of the Huggies baby wipes I use these at work I use these in the restroom I use these to wipe my face off when I am just being lazy and don't feel like washing my face <laughs> We all do it. You got to admit it. You all do it. You get lazy. You don't feel like washing your face before you go to bed and you just go to bed. But, you know, I find if I keep these around when I'm feeling that lazy day, I can just get one, give my face a good wash off and there we go. And then put my cream on and I'm done. <laughs> you all do it. Everyone does it. I'm sorry, but I, you know, yeah. We all get lazy. <coughs> Twyla collects these. And I'm going to surprise her with it because it was the only one I saw. And I don't think she has one of these. But they are the soft, squishy guys. And they've got like the, the little knobbies all around them and stuff. And his little tail, I think you could probably put it on a key ring if you wanted to. But... He is the light up. And he's a little puppy dog. Look at that. Look at that puppy dog. <laughs> but this is the only one I saw there. Yeah, so I picked it up for her. I found a couple of books. I um, have the Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter book. I have that movie. I I love the, that movie. I loved it. I don't, I'm crazy. I know. I love all vampire type things. <laughs> but I found this one, The Last American Vampire. Right here is the back if you would like to read it. And let's see. This was the only copy that my store had, so I snatched it up. Um, they have covered the price. I don't know if I can get it peeled off. Or, no, I can't. It's going to tear the book. And I don't want to do that. But I'm sure it was $10 to $12. Then I found this one. It is Fire Free Comb. I don't, can't pronounce it, but it's something manner. Two women separated by decades, entwined by fate. And there it is. And this is a hardcover, and it was $25.99 in the U.S. and $31.99 in Canada. But here is the insert if you'd like to read a little bit about it. You can just pause and if you can make it out. I don't know why we do that because nine times out of ten you can't make it out even if you pause it. <laughs> I got um, more brushes, you know, the art brushes. I have quite a supply of the little tiny ones, but I needed more of these. Um, they're not big, but they're the wider brush ones. I picked up two packages of these. Picked up another package of magnets and these are in the pink I think these would be really cute to personalize you know and send out to friends and what all picked up two more of the book bins my Dollar Tree has tons of these I think that they didn't get them when the craze was going crazy you know everybody was picking them up my Dollar Tree didn't get them but now they have all you want. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I've got the sun shining right here on my face. Yeah, I do. 
But I picked up two of these. I want to do some cleaning up of right there where all my coloring books are. And for the very last thing, I found these and other people have hauled them, but I hadn't seen them until today. And it is the unicorn. Can you see him? With the feather and the twisty ink pen. Yeah. So there is the teal colored one. And it's got the feather boa. And here's the blue one. Look at his horn. I think you can see it better when I just hold it up like this. And then here is the pink one. I haven't seen the um, flamingo ones yet. But if they have the th all the colors next week of the unicorns, I'm going to pick up another set to give to each one of my granddaughters in their stocking at Christmas time. Okay, everybody, that was it. That was my Dollar Tree haul. And, yeah, I don't think I found anything new or exciting. Well, if the lemon heads, they are new to us now. Um, the pens are, you know, they're popping up on everyone's videos. But, you know, it's only been in the past week. Um... The broccoli and cheese bites, I think they're new to my store. I don't know if other people have seen them or anything. But I think that was about it that's new. So, but I did get things that we want, we will consume. We need, like, toilet tissue and tinfoil sheets. And I need that. So, <laughs> and I know you can get these for 97 cents. Or is it 99 cents? They're a little bit cheaper, I think at Walmart, but they are a little bit smaller than this one. Now, Walmart does sell a, a pretty hefty sized one for like $3. My Walmart does. Okay, everybody, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you have a wonderful weekend because it will be Saturday before you see this video. And I just have a great Saturday. I have to work tonight, Friday night, so I only get one day off. <sighs> I'm never going to get my house under control. <laughs> one day off a week just is not cutting it. Ugh. They talked about moving us to 10-hour days. I don't know that how that would work because there's a four-hour difference there between shifts. And then they'd still make us work another day of overtime like they do now so that'd still be five days <sighs> so I don't know just leave it alone yeah uh. okay I'm done ranting about my work <laughs> I've had enough of it I'm done with the work thing I've worked for hundreds of years I feel like <laughs> and I'm done <laughs> I tell you what when I retire we are going to party yes we are we're going to have a huge old party because I feel like I have been living for my retirement since I was 30 years old that's terrible <laughs> okay I'm going to quit I'm going to quit now this was a Dollar Tree haul it was not a complaining, ranting video. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Try to have a great weekend. Don't forget to subscribe. Give a thumbs up and leave me that comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.